There are two main methods of adding roofs in BD. This video will look at adding a simple hip roof using a separate eave line. However, please see the other video on roofs in this tutorial series which focuses on the roof generator tool. The first step in creating a simple hip roof is to define the eave line for it. However, first we need to ensure that we're in the 2D architectural roof modeling pair with the walls we want to sit the roof on quick loaded as a reference drawing. With that done, go to the roofs menu in the modeling tab and select the eave line command. Notice the options for different roof types as well as quick options for roof overhangs displayed in the right click contextual toolbar. In this example, we want a roof type for trusses, so hit this button to be taken to the parameters for this type. If the help button is clicked, this brings up a helpful diagram for the different parameters. First select the material code that will allow you to select a different roof type from the pre-existing library. This will automatically change the top chord field. Next, the pitch can be altered, making sure that the value entered has a capital A suffix. Alternatively, you can enter this value as a ratio. Fascia height can also be changed to suit. Next, we can define the various height and overhang parameters. The first will be the top plate height that the roof will sit onto. Either type this value in manually if known, or simply click the Get button to choose from either the 3D or 2D models. It is easy to select from 3D. Now simply choose the wall and the plate height field will change accordingly. Next, we have a set of three values that need defining before using the Calculate button on the third to define that value based on all of the parameters for this roof. For instance, if an overhang value is defined here, and then an over the wall height value defined here, then press calculate next to the eave height field to obtain the correct value. Once defined is required, click OK to begin adding the eave line. Here, simply hover near the external edge of the wall, noticing the diagonal line appearing on the cursor. Click to add the line, and then continue around the rest of the walls that are to be used, confirming once selected. The final step is to add the roof itself. Roof types are available from the Roofs menu in the Modeling tab. For the purposes of this tutorial, a hip roof will be used. Upon clicking, notice the guide diagram to assist in picking the points of the roof. It is important to pick the roofs in the correct order to ensure the ridge line and the pitch are in the correct direction. Now pick the three points, confirming afterwards, and the roof slopes will be added. This concludes our videos on basic roofs. Thank you for watching.